from me to you, go fuck yourself. What's happening guys, Supernova here, back with another video. And uh, I know it's been a while guys since I've made a video, and that's because I was actually in the hospital <laughs> undergoing surgery. Uh, I went through two surgeries at the hospital and had to recover from those surgeries. I'm actually still recovering right now at home. Uh, nothing crazy, nothing to worry about, but uh, that's where I've been for those of you who have been wondering, you know, hey, is Supernova fucking dead because he hasn't made a video since fucking Christmas? <laughs> that's kind of been what's going on. But anyway, let's get into what this video is about because this video is about the apology that CD Projekt Red made for Cyberpunk 2077 two days ago. So for those of you who don't know, they actually released a video with Marcin Iwinski, or however you pronounce this motherfucker's name, <laughs> who happens to be uh, one of the co-founders of CD Projekt Red, uh, apologizing for the state that the game was released in, especially on console, and then trying to explain the reason why it was released that way. Um, and I'm just going to go right out and say that um, it's, you know, 100% bullshit, in my opinion. I don't give a fuck about what this guy has to say. It's bullshit. Uh, it's too little, too late. Uh, and it's just, uh, at this point, like, I don't give a fuck about what these people have to say. I really don't. And uh, <laughs> I just want to I just want to play a small clip uh, of something that this guy said that illustrates right away how absolutely full of shit these motherfuckers are. Now let's talk about the review process. We started sending our PC review keys in the first days of December. On launch day, December 10th, we hit the ground running with a really good start on PC. While not perfect, it's a version of Cyberpunk we are very proud of. Do you hear that? It's a version of Cyberpunk they're very proud of. If that were fucking true, then why did they mandate that in the reviews the reviewers were not allowed to post any of their own gameplay footage, but instead were only allowed to show footage provided by CD Projekt Red. If they were so proud of this fucking version, then why have that mandate? Because it's bullshit, that's why. It is 100% bullshit. They knew the state that the game was in. They knew that it was a bug-ridden fucking mess, and they released it anyway. And oh, by the way, their fucking apology isn't even really a fucking apology. This video is basically them making excuses for why the game was in the state that it was in. Oh, we didn't know it was going to be this hard. Oh, we overestimated. Oh, this. Oh, that. Oh, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. You guys are in the business of making video games. I don't give a shit that you were too ambitious in what you were trying to do. You made a promise you need to deliver on that promise. And if you're not going to be able to deliver on that promise, you need to fucking be upfront and let us know, hey, sorry, we had more ambitious, loftier fucking dreams for this game, but we, CD Projekt Red, are not able to realize those dreams. I'm sorry, but the, unfortunately, we can't give you the game that we promised you. But that's not what they did. They tried to play it off like the game that we were getting was the game that they promised. And it's only after the fact that they are now coming out and saying, sorry, we were not able to make the game that we promised we were trying to make. And I'm sorry, too little, too late, I don't give a fuck. Cyberpunk 2077 released in December. It took them 34 days to come out and say something. Yeah, they released some little bullshit statement on their fucking Twitter, wherever the fuck they released it, you know, apologizing for shit. But it took them 34 days for them to actually come out and give a real apology. And I say real only because it's like an actual dude in the video that I can see who's one of the co-founders of the company. But I don't mean like real apology because really it's not a real apology. It's a fucking excuse. And yeah, they're promising to try to make it up to us and to try to earn back our trust. Great. Then do that. Do whatever you have to do to earn back our trust, to earn back my trust. But don't give me any fucking bullshit excuses or half-assed bullshit apologies because at this point, I don't give a fuck. It's been over a month. 
in my opinion, they're only doing this fucking half-assed bullshit apology because they're getting in trouble. They're having these class action lawsuits filed against them. And now we even find out that Poland's Office of Competition and Consumer Protection is now looking into CD Projekt Red. They're basically a, a, a bureau that makes sure that consumers are being protected from businesses and corporations, so that corporations are not taking advantage of consumers. We're not lying to them and selling them products that are not the products that they advertise, you know? Uh, so far, nothing's happened, but there's a possibility they could face fines, you know? So there's all these things hanging over their head. So that's why they're coming out with this fucking apology now. In my opinion, that's why. Not because they feel bad, not because they really want to apologize, but because they have all these things looming over their head and they're trying to fucking get out in front of it. In my opinion. That may not be the case. Maybe there are some of them over there that really do feel bad. But at the end of the day, they lied. Okay, they can say whatever the fuck they want, but they knew that the game was borderline unplayable on consoles, especially last generation consoles. They knew and they released the game anyway. And the part that is what really pisses everybody off is that they did everything in their power to keep that information from us prior to the game releasing. It's not so much that they released the game fucked up and buggy and messed up. It's that they did everything they could to hide that information from us before the game released by only giving reviewers review codes on PC, by not allowing them to experience the console version of the game. They went out of their way to hide the fact that the console versions of the game were borderline unplayable because they knew that millions of people were intending to buy it on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. That's the part that really pisses us all off. So they can say whatever the fuck they want. They can try to make whatever apologies they want. Like I said in my other videos, you apologize when you make a mistake. Oh, sorry, I apologize I stepped on your foot. Oh, sorry, I apologize I thought you were somebody else. You don't apologize after intentionally trying to deceive people by intentionally trying to defraud people. You don't apologize for that. So again, to me, in my opinion, this is bullshit and I don't give a fuck about their apology, but that's me. Maybe you'll watch this apology video and you'll believe everything they said. Maybe you've already seen it and you do believe everything they said. Me, I don't. Again, like I said, that's just me. But uh, if you haven't seen it, I will link in the description the apology video so you can hear it for yourself and hear what they have to say. But again, in my opinion, it's bullshit. They intentionally tried to deceive us. They intentionally tried to defraud us. And they didn't even apologize for that. They apologized for the game being released buggy. But they did not apologize for fucking lying to us. And for intentionally going out of their way. To make sure that people playing on console. And especially last generation consoles. Would not know. That the game was virtually unfucking playable. On their platform of choice. For that they still haven't apologized. And even if they did, I don't fucking buy it. So for me, CD Projekt Red, go fuck yourself, apology not accepted. Do what you can to earn my trust back, but apology not accepted. And that's all I got for you guys on this one. And that's the video guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And as always, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys on the next Supernova.